Egypt's new $58 billion capital complex. In a bid to solve the challenge of overpopulation and congestion in the greater metropolitan Cairo, Egypt is building a grandiose new administrative capital from scratch in the desert east of Cairo. The new capital city, which covers 700 square kilometers, is located between the Nile River and the Suez Canal, east of Cairo. Once completed, the project, which is estimated to cost $58 billion, will be the biggest planned city ever, with the capacity to house up to 7 million people. Want to know what's inside Egypt's new administrative capital? Well, be sure to watch this video till the end to find out. It is no doubt that the capital city of Egypt, Cairo, is one of the fastest growing cities in Africa. The population of Cairo has been growing astronomically from a mere 2.5 million people in 1950 to the current population of over 21 million people. This huge population is indeed causing pressure on the old city of Cairo. In fact, Cairo is considered one of the most congested cities in the world. All these factors are a cause for alarm. A 2010 study that was conducted by the World Bank revealed that Egypt was losing 4% of its GDP due to the huge congestion of Cairo City. This explains why the government of Egypt had to think of a quick intervention to solve this challenge. And the solution? A $58 billion new capital city constructed from scratch. After rising from a series of political instability, the government of Egypt embarked on this mega project in 2015 to establish a new administrative capital that aims to ease congestion in the capital of Cairo. Egypt now joins over 30 countries globally, which have relocated their administrative offices to new cities built from scratch. Brazil, Australia, Kazakhstan, and Nigeria are the most notable examples. Now, to arrive at the location of this new city, which is still under construction, you'll have to travel 45 kilometers to the east of Cairo City, to the mainland, located between the main roads leading to the port cities of Suez and Ain el Sokna. You'll discover that this new city, designed by US-based architecture firm Skidmore Owings & Merrill, will cover a total area of over 700 kilometers. This major project is being funded majorly by the Egyptian military and the Ministry of Housing. And by the military getting involved in the project, you can be sure it is going to reap massive returns from this ambitious endeavor. The city complex will consist of three phases, with the first phase slated to complete in 2030 for $58 billion. The first phase will establish the core of the new city with a focus on essential needs for its operation. It covers the development of 40,000 acres, including a government district, a commercial district, and a downtown district built along the Green River. The second phase will focus on expanding the city by 47,000 acres with more residential and business areas, and the third phase will add another 97,000 acres. Once completed in 2050, the new administrative capital will have enough basic infrastructure to cater to about 7 million people who will be living there. So, what basic facilities are you likely to find in this new administrative capital once it is completed? Well, like many other major cities in the world, the new capital city of Egypt will feature 100 different residential neighborhoods, each having its public square, shops, schools, and religious buildings. There will be over 40,000 accommodation rooms and penthouses. The military unit will be responsible for selling the housing units in the new administrative capital, as well as selling or operating the buildings in the old Cairo that will be vacated after agencies, ministries, and embassies move to their new locations. This comes even as many complain about the hefty price of the housing units. Currently, a two-bedroom apartment in the new capital goes for about $50,000. This is way too huge of an amount for most of the people in the country, where the gross domestic product per capita is about $3,000. However, the government of Egypt has assured its citizens that the new capital will also include 100,000 affordable housing units spread across eight districts. Although, it is not clear when the affordable housing units will be constructed. 
the new city will have over 1,000 mosques and churches. However, of interest is the largest and most expensive mosque ever built, the Al-Fatah Al-Alim. This mega mosque will consist of four minarets 95 meters high, 21 domes, and an administrative building that can accommodate 60 workers. The $250 million mosque has a capacity of 17,000 people and covers 110 acres of land. And for the ease of transportation for the two cities, Redcon Contractors is working on a high-speed light rail and a station for a high-speed light rail system that will connect the Red and Mediterranean Seas via the new capital and Cairo. Already, there is a fleet of electric buses connecting Cairo to the new complex. Significant to note is that this new megacity is constructed with climate in mind. It features native plants, forests, and much greenery to create a wonderful microclimate, which is part of the country's efforts to tackle pollution. This will be realized through the establishment of a large central park, twice the size of New York's Central Park. It will have a central green river, a combination of open water and planted greenery. The park, which cost $600 million to build, is massive, covering 35 kilometers long, spanning 6,200 acres. And to reduce lighting energy costs, the buildings here are constructed with wall-to-ceiling windows to maximize natural light and ventilation. However, the city will embrace green energy as it will be powered by a 90-kilometer solar farm. The project's first phase, which extends 168 kilometers, will include several districts for doing business, recreation, and government offices. The government district is specifically designed to host several administrative offices. The first building you encounter here is the Octagon, which is Egypt's equivalent of the Pentagon. It is estimated to have cost a whopping $123 million to build. You can be sure Egypt took the right direction to move its administrative buildings from Cairo to the new administrative capital. The government district also has the Ministries Building, the House of Representatives Building, and the Administrative Control Building. Already, the Arab Contractors Company is completing the new Parliament Building, which is estimated to cover an area of 126,000 square meters. The building will contain 1,000 administrative offices and a 50-meter diameter dome. According to Prime Minister Mostafa Madbouli, the new parliament building is set to house about 52,000 government employees. There is also the Art and Culture District, which is built at a staggering $20 billion. It is one of the most expensive districts in the city and will feature a mega museum that will offer Egypt's entire history and expensive artifacts. The Sports City District, on the other hand, will contain various sports facilities, including a $1 billion Olympic-sized stadium that can accommodate up to 95,000 people. And for those who sustain injuries in the course of the game, there are numerous sports medical facilities to cater for them. But that is just a drop in the ocean, as there will be over 500 health facilities across the new capital to provide healthcare services to the over 7 million people who will be living in the new complex. And we cannot forget to mention the business district, which is the heart of the new complex. It will feature over 20 high-rising skyscrapers, including an 80-story iconic tower built for $3 billion. The iconic tower, which is still under construction, has gone past the 40th floor and once completed will be 385 meters high, making it the tallest building in Egypt and Africa. But that is not all. Plans are also underway for the construction of a 1,000 meters tall Oblisco Capital for $3.2 billion. Once completed, this megastructure, which resembles a pharaonic obelisk, will become the tallest structure in the world. So, how far has the project reached? Well, much as this grandiose project is more ambitious, it is still behind the timeline. And even though the first phase is currently under construction, it remains unclear as to whether the entire project will be realized. This considering that the second and third phases of the project are already delayed after Chinese investor Fortune Land Development pulled out of the second phase, estimated to be worth $20 billion. Also, the project is battling with criticism from the public. 
The critics of the project have pointed out that the project is aimed to serve just a few of the country's population, which belongs to the rich. According to the critics, the money spent on constructing a new city should have instead been directed to improving the living conditions in the impoverished parts of old Cairo. So, there you have it guys, Egypt's new $58 billion capital complex. And from what we've seen, the new complex will be a true business and cultural center, attracting tourists and investors from all over the globe. Which is the most interesting part of the new complex? Let us know in the comments below.